Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a garden update video. So, these are our chives. Not much to talk about besides they just aren't doing super well, so hopefully they multiply this year. Um, strawberries, we thinned out. If you watched our very first video, Spring Cleanup. Um, we thinned these out, hopefully to get strawberries this year, and it looks like we may be, we'll be getting some. And then this big garden bed, I did not do any, we just cleaned up. I did not show planting anything, but these beans actually came from last year. They're, um, it's a mix of red Indian woman, yellow Indian woman, Jacob's cattle and painted pony beans in there. And we planted a bunch of dragon tongue beans. And then mint planted a couple years ago. That just came back every year. Cilantro reseeded itself and came back. First time that's ever happened. So we've got a couple plants, which is awesome. And then the lemon thyme. Trying to get that to come back too. But we'll see how that goes. Here I planted some lemon cucumbers. Probably about two weeks ago. It's been a pretty rainy season, so we're just now sprouting. I'm hoping to get them along our fence. And our not doing super well but just working on that so now we got more of those beans i pointed out to you in the last garden bed not the dragon's tongue but the bean seed mix and over here we have um viking potato is it purple viking potato and terra rosa in this garden bed also and this one is just blueberries we have a net on it because we have cats that like to crush it More potatoes. These all should be purple majesty, which are really cool. They have a uh, bluish purple inside. So I'm hoping to make some purple mashed potatoes this year. And on to the big garden beds. So we have two golden raspberry bushes I got last year online. Side of oh, this one already has fruit growing on it. Really excited for these. I've had golden raspberries before, but um, from the store probably over 10 years ago, and I'm just super excited for these. These were red raspberries. We got this plant dying from Lowe's, and it's finally actually getting fruit on it for the first time. We've had this for probably about four or five years now. Oregano. Okay, so you guys, we're doing a lot of beans this year. We're actually doing scarlet runners up here too. This garden bed doesn't have the best soil is why, but I got something really cool to show you, Brandon, I did not expect. But donor squash, or they just popped up. So we got one here, another squash there. So it could either be a squash, or I know pumpkin's part of that family, but it could also be a pumpkin as well. So we'll see if we get spaghetti, butternut, acorn, or pumpkin and then we also got sunflowers which these could possibly either be titan or black oil sunflower seeds which i'm guessing they're the black oil ones because we had what they were called chocolate cherry and they had red i believe last year they had red stems when they were growing like that but we'll see i'm super excited they came back and then all the way out here in no man's land is our lone blackberry bush. We're hoping for this guy to go from here and take up that space all the way towards the fence at some point since we really like blackberries. Um, and that's really it for our garden update. Like I said, we're mostly doing beans. I tried to do tomatoes earlier this year, but it ends up getting pretty rainy and over here and cold. Like we actually what had a frost like maybe a week ago or two. And it just got super duper cold down the almost 35, but they had a frost warning as well. So tomatoes didn't really survive this year. Um, and now we will go to the front yard. All right, everyone. So I guess it's been cold and rainy. So here's our lettuce. Um, don't even have a full head yet. And we got more. We got radishes, this is our wasabi back here. And I believe right here on 
or about the middle is our uh, watermelon radish. I wonder, let's see. I want to show you guys. Yeah, it's still really thin, but you can see the green from it, kind of. So maybe a few more weeks on that. And then over here, I just planted some dill with our spinach, which we had a hybrid and a strawberry spinach. Um, dill was from my mother-in-law for helping her out, so she paid me with some. And hopefully we'll be harvesting this soon. It's getting pretty big. Oh, that smells really good. <laughs> um, they're not growing yet, but we decided to plant. Oh, wait, there's one. Never mind. We planted some nasturtiums. We did purple emperor or Alaska mix. I can't remember which. But I'm pretty excited. I've never grown those. And they're supposed to be super good and peppery. And then over here, in the middle, all these plants, is our cabbage. And then around is Swiss chard. And if you guys are wondering too, I plant super close together. So um, I want to say, not high yield gardening, what is it? It's a, um, it's super packed. It's, once your plants get super packed, um, is to keep out weeds. So if you're wondering why I have everything super close and not thinned out, that's why. So I'm waiting for these to get a bit bigger before I thin some out because I want to see what'll grow super tightly together, but not too tight to help keep weeds down. Um, and then I guess we haven't really done much with this yet, but we cleared this up. We have some berry plants here that we've been trying to get rid of since we got the house. Which I believe they're mulberries or something. They're super big. Like normally the berries are probably about that big. They don't taste like blackberries either, so I'm not entirely certain what they are. Rose bush. And then over here we got irises. Um, and then just planted a peony this year, and we're hoping to swap the irises over to the other bed later on. Well, thank you for watching our video today. I hope you enjoyed our little garden update.